Hi, I'm Chetna Makan and I am very happy to be back here on the Waitrose channel with a lovely treat for you, my pineapple upside down cake with a little twist. It's not the kind of cake I grew up with, but when I discovered it, I fell in love. It's got a bit of fruit, a bit of caramel, and I'm adding a little bit of chili. What's not to like? First thing to do is prep the pineapple, chop the top and the bottom and then with a sharp knife peel off the sides. When you prep it yourself, you can make sure that there is minimal waste because you're just peeling off the skin and not the flesh. If you have any pineapple left, you can just add it to salads, you can add it to smoothies and if for some reason you can't get hold of fresh pineapple, then you can always use tinned. That is going to be absolutely fine too. Just slice them into thin pieces. You can find the full recipe link in the video description. God, this is so tempting. Sorry guys, I have to. Mm. Now for that little cake, I am using a red chili. And then just chop it finely. Keep the seeds in. That is what is gonna give you that hit. The pineapple is lovely and sweet and sour. I'm going to also add the caramel, which is quite key for an upside down cake. And with all that sweetness, if you add that bit of chili, it just gives a little kick. It doesn't make it a savory dish. If you are not a fan of chili, you can obviously leave it out. And right now for this recipe, I'm just using half of this chopped chili. And you can use this leftover chili in any of my curry recipes which you can find on the channel here. And all of this will just go into the food compost bin. Time to make the caramel. Just using some soft brown sugar. This is a quick version of caramel, so you can use normal caster sugar. It just takes a little bit longer to caramelize, that's it. And all I'm looking to do is melt the sugar and make sure that it's dissolved fully. This is done, time to add some butter. And in goes the butter and just listen to that sound. Stir it well enough so that the butter is melted and then we add in the chilies. And I am using a round spring form cake tin so that it's easier to get the cake out once it's done. Just pour it straight in. I haven't lined this, it's just been greased with some butter. Now this might look a bit split, but it's absolutely fine for our pineapples to sit on. And you can just put them randomly or you can take a long time and set it. I'm going to try and pack in as many pineapple pieces as I can. That's it really. It's all snuggly in there. I think that looks pretty cool. And now to make the sponge, which is just a light vanilla sponge, which will go perfectly with the rest of the flavors. I have got here some nice softened butter. I'm gonna add some sugar. I'm using golden caster sugar, but you can use normal caster sugar as well. I prefer this because it just adds nice uh, flavor to the cake. I'm gonna whisk this until it's creamy. Now for the eggs. And don't forget to put the shells in the compost. Dash of vanilla. And the last thing to go in is some self-raising flour. Now a tip if you want light fluffy cakes. You can see the color of this mixture has changed. So you just need to continue whisking for a minute or two until you get this pale batter, which is what is gonna give you fluffy cakes. And now that we have the mixture, it'll go straight on top of the pineapples. And just make sure that you press the batter in between the pineapple pieces. This will go in the oven for roughly 40 minutes. Oven is nice and hot at 180C. I love pineapple, but I would also recommend using pear if that is what you like. And if there is any other fruit you've used in an upside down cake before, please let us know in the comments below. So this is really delicate right now. So I'm just going to give it three to four minutes before I flip it over. Now I'm just using a knife to loosen the sides and I'm just going to open the clip. And this is the reason we use the spring form tin. I've never been this scared to flip a cake. 
So it's still very hot, don't forget. So I'm just going to use the cooling rack to help me flip this over and just use the knife to help loosen the cake. And when you're peeling the lid off, just be careful because this is going to be very hot. So use a tea towel if you need to. And here, my friends, oh, look at this steaming hot cake. It looks so pretty and it smells incredible. Incredible. And I love the little specks of chili and the caramel is giving it a lovely sheen. It's absorbed into the cake. You can see here it's just soaked and all that's left to do is slice and enjoy it. And here is the pineapple upside down cake with a little bit of chili. Look at that sponge. It looks lovely and light and there is a little bit of caramel seeping in. This is going to be super delicious. Hope you will give this cake a go and I will see you back here with another new recipe very soon. Till then, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so you get a notification every time we share a new recipe. And if you guys try this, then don't forget to share the picture with us. It's always nice to see you guys enjoying the food we create here.